Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Hopefully you're having a wonderful time right in this in between Christmas and New Year's, uh, whether it's being back at work and doing a little bit of this and that before the New Year's vacation or you're off until right after New Year's. I hope that you're having a wonderful time and welcome to this special edition of the Yarn Thing podcast with Marley Bird. And my special guest today is actually my uh, creative, I almost called you creative director. My, uh, my, well, she's my director. She's my social media director. Uh, Caitlin Mole is here and we are going to do a knitting needle review. Um, we're going to have a lot of different needles to uh, talk about today to show you and I'll give you my information that I like and don't like about things and we also have some giveaways as well so you're definitely going to want to be a part of this. If you are watching live, fantastic. Welcome. We're glad you're here. Uh, if you, let's see, I, I'm trying, I'm like, <laughs> I am all I'm over the place. share it with everybody. <laughs> I was just going to suggest people to share it as well. Um, just like most of you, I am in this like in between sort of fog, I think. I, I I forgot about the show today. I thought it was this afternoon. And Caitlin called me at 10 o'clock my time. She's like, are you ready to go live? And I'm like in my robe, putting on my concealer. I was like, nope, not ready at all. <laughs> not even close. So I rushed through everything. So I feel like I'm a little bit uh, discombobulated. But once we get on those, the topic of needles, I'll be right on par because that's my life. Like yarn and needles, it's all I do, right? That's all I use. Um, so it'll be fun. So this is a special edition of the Yarn Thing <clears throat> podcast. Let's go ahead and say thank you to our sponsors. This is the last podcast of 2018. We are rounding out the 11th year of the Yarn Thing podcast, 11 years. And some of these sponsors have been with us since the very beginning, and we appreciate them completely. And uh, I want to say thank you. So let's say thank you to Stitches.Events, home of all of the Stitches events around the country. You can find more about them by typing Stitches.Events in your URL. That's the URL. It's not .com. It's dot .Events. It's really cool. Um, so go check out Stitches. They also put out the books um, with XRX Books. So they own the company. We also have Aaron Lane Bags, who my best friend, Lindsay Martin, is the one who runs and manages Aaron Lane Bags. She does it all over there. And I'm just so proud to call her my friend and my colleague. And I just, I, I love her. So I just want to say thank you to Lindsay over at Aaron Lane Bags. Of course, my crew over at Creative Bug. I, uh, I have such a great time. This I've had such a great time this past year. Joining them throughout the year for the Facebook Lives. I hope that it will continue for 2019. It's still up in the air right now, trying to figure things out with Red Heart. So we will we'll see how that goes. But um, if you have not had a chance to check out the classes at Creative Bug, they are very well done. They treat their their teachers very well, um, very kind. It's a wonderful company, and they are owned by Joann's. So vicariously, I'm sponsored by Joann's. <laughs> I don't know if I should say that or not, but I am. So there you go. <laughs> uh, all right. So we did Creative Bug. And then let's go to Buffalo Wool Company because I love Buffalo Wool Company, Ron and Teresa. Um, our businesses have grown together throughout these past 10 years. And it's just, it's been amazing watching their success and their support means a lot to me. So thank you to Buffalo Wool Company. And then last but not least is Red Heart Yarns, where I'm the proud national spokesperson. I have really enjoyed my time over at Red Heart. I do have, um, it's continuing. I didn't mean for that to sound like it's ending. It's continuing. Um, I have my own yarn line with them, Chic Sheep by Marley Bird, <laughs> which you can check out online from redheart.com, joanne.com, it's on walmart.com, it's at hershners.com, but it's also in 100 different uh, Joanne stores and in all of the Hobby Lobby stores. They only have eight colors, but it is there. You could go and give it a try if you want. So all of that is to say a thank you very much for your support and continued support. And then of course, I'm gonna say thank you to all of you out there who are listening to the podcast, watching the videos that I produce and put out there trying to help you become better knitters and crocheters. I really do appreciate your support, both with watching the videos, commenting, smashing that like button. It means a lot to me and it helps me support my family and being able to provide you the free content. So please continue to share the Marley Bird YouTube channel, leave your comments, hit the like button, do all the things. And um, that helps me all the way around. So thank you. Uh, Caitlin, I feel like I should say thank you to you you too. <laughs> you're, you, you're a huge part of my business and I I appreciate you. I want you to know that. Well, thank you. I'm right. happy to be here. I'm checking out all the comments coming in. People are from all over the country. 
we've got people from England, um, from everywhere. I mean, it's just mm -hmm. wonderful. Thank you guys for joining us. Very cool. So today we're doing something a little bit different. If you remember several, several months ago, I had the Marley Bird team at the time we had Brittany working with us and we did a hook review, a crochet hook review, which I thought was, it was pretty cool. Um, I had a little bit of, I was trying something new with the video side of it all. So it was a little bit different on that end, but I feel like it was a very comprehensive review of different hooks that are on the market. And since then we have been wanting to do a knitting needle review. And so here we are back today to do a knitting needle review. Now I have a bunch of needles around me. I know that you have some needles around you and um, I'm going to let you just take the lead and guide me and I'll jump in and give my opinion and, and do all the things and uh, let's move forward. Are you ready? Sounds great. Um, I am going to apologize guys. Of course, here we are live again and I have a cold, <laughs> go figure. Um, so we're going to get through this really good today. Um, what we're going to do is we have um, a ton of knitting needles. I'm going to be real honest. I never knew there were so many different types of knitting needles until we started researching this and pulling samples to be able to share with you guys. We are going to break this down like we did with our crochet hook review, and we're going to start with material. Um, as with everything that you work on, you will see many different sizes of needles, and that's all going to pertain to the different yarn that you're using. Um, you know, but the other choice that you have to make is what materials you're going to use. And I'm going to start off with plastic and or you, you know, that type of material, just because it's usually the cheapest. It's usually where people get their beginning from. Um, and so we're just going to start there. <clears throat> so you will have, you also have two choices of needles. Let's start there. Actually, you have what is called a straight needle. That's like this. And then you have something um, called a circular needle. I was trying to find here. A circular needle, these are jumbos, but they serve the purpose. So it's on a cord with two needle points. And then you also have what is called an interchangeable circular needle. And what that means, <clears throat> excuse me, is you get the needle points like this, but then you have to add your cord to it, which all comes in your set when you purchase them. <clears throat> excuse me. So when you buy straight needles, you're only getting one size. When you buy circular needles, you're only getting one size. Yeah, fixed circulars. Right, fixed circulars. When you buy interchangeables, nine times out of 10, I'll put it that way because there are some cases where you don't, you will purchase them in an entire set, okay? So starting with straight needles. Let's go there because again, this is where a lot of people start is right here on your straight needles. These are going to be your longer needles and it is great for beginners, but some people, me included, find that especially the longer needles, it gets heavy on your wrists when you're working this way. So I personally prefer a circular needle and I'm pretty sure Marley, you do too. Um, so yes, these... I do. <laughs> I'm trying to get my, I hear my dog barking upstairs. I'm trying to get the kids to stop him from barking. I mean, I don't understand how they can just uh, uh, like the incessant barking. I'm like, shut the dog up. So I apologize. <laughs> That's why I have my microphone on mute. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. No, don't be sorry. I apologize. You should not be barking. Well, we can't hear him. So um, anyway, so these are a jumbo size needle. These are a 19 millimeter US 35. So these are very large. And these are from Susan Bates, which is um, part of Red Heart. So you can get those on the Red Heart website. You'll also find that you can get double point needles, which will correspond to the regular needles that you're using. And this is what you would use for a sleeve, sometimes for a hat, things like that. But you can also get those in plastic as well. Now, Knitter's Pride sent to us this awesome, 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 well, they sent us a bunch of awesome sets. And I love that in most cases, they have matching. So you have your interchangeable needles, so your full set of needles, and then they have a set of DPNs that go with it. Why is this so great, you may be asking? 
because as we talked about in our crochet review, when you use different materials to work on your projects, you could potentially have a different gauge. Um, the way that your yarn works on the plastic or the acrylic um, is definitely gonna be different than what is on a wood needle or a metal needle. And so the great thing about this is that they're color coordinated. So if I'm using the blue size eight, <laughs> you'll also go to the blue size eight in the DPNs. And you know that your gauge should be almost spot on because it's the same material, same brand, everything else. So that's why I really love sets like this. Um, because it makes it easier to switch. I know a lot of times when I was starting and I would knit something and I'd have to go to DPNs, I might be using a plastic circular needle um, and then my DPNs were metal. And so my gauge would be switching between them. So this is really great that you have a whole set. So these are the, oh, excuse me, these are the marbles um, by Knit Picks. And just look at how beautiful they are. So I really love these. These are great. And again, it comes in this nice case. Um, this one, you have the set here. It flips up and then you have all your cables inside, multiple colors, multiple sizes, um, lengths uh, to be able to go ahead and do that. So that's that. <clears throat> then we also have, we also have Denise which is another great company. Um, these are actually made in the USA, so these are really great. I think I'm missing some of my needles because they're on projects, but this is their uh, interchangeable set. So it comes with all your needles this way, and then your cords are around the outside um, that you'll see. And then you can just take it out. Um, some of them, like the marbles that we showed you, those are a, a screw on. These are just a twist. You just pop it in and it just locks into place. Oops. No, it doesn't until you actually turn it the right way. It locks into place and then it doesn't come out. So that's how those work. Um, again, you have multiple sizes in here to use for all of your projects. And the great thing about these are, you know, you, the cords are not super long in this set. But what they do offer is they offer these little connectors that you can put um, multiple cords together so you can get something that's longer if you would need it. <clears throat> so we talked about these as interchangeable sets. Denise also offers um, these Denise on the go. These are super duper cute. And when you open them up, you will see a full set of knitting needles. But, oops, these are shorter tips. So let's see, these are a five and a half. So these are exactly the same size. Um, they're both a size nine, but you'll see that one is much shorter than the other. So these are, uh, it's personal preference on what you like. Typically you use the shorter ones um, when you're doing socks or hats or something like that to have a smaller circumference. Um, it looks like people are asking about pricing and everything. What we'll do is we will be able to um, we'll put some links up for you or put a blog post together quick with all the links to everything. Um, I don't have the exact prices on everything. They didn't send that over. So, but we can pull them for you and give you links to everything that you would need to know. I think that's the best thing is after the show, we'll put up the show notes and we will link all the items that we talk about in the show. And we'll be sure to put the prices as they are today, uh, for each of the items. Um, I think that's the easiest way to go about doing that. Um, Caitlin, I'm going to ask you, sorry, I had to step away to go have <laughs> the dog be quiet. Um, as you're going through some of these interchangeables, like some people are giving, you know, their experience. They want to know, what do you think of them? Like, have you had a chance to use all of these different types? Like I've used most of those and I know I have my own opinions. Like, do you have an opinion? So, okay. <clears throat> when I first started knitting, I was on straight needles, straight metal needles, just because that's what you could get at Michael's and Joann's and everything else. And I started to feel that I didn't like them. It was harder to travel with them, harder on my wrist. So I convinced my husband to buy me this for Christmas one year. So this was my first interchangeable set of um, knitting needles. It's a great beginner friendly set, I think, from the standpoint of the cost that you're going to put into it. Um, this is on the lower end of what you're going to be paying um, for some of the interchangeables. But I will say that the plastic versions are probably my least favorite 
now that I've started working with the woods and the metals and things like that. And the only reason I say they're my least favorite is I find that it's harder to find super flexible cords sometimes. And I also find that it has a lot more drag, excuse me, with the yarn that you're using. Right. It's funny because I, if I'm incorrect, I, I don't know if I am or not, but the Denise interchangeables, I think they were some of the first interchangeable sets on the market. Um, they were my first interchangeable set as well. And I will let you guys know. So I have very large hands. I have fairly large hands. Um, and the Denise interchangeable set, the the shaft of the needle is so short that my hand actually cupped around it right here at the joint and I would get hand cramps, like really bad hand cramps. So I sold mine rather quickly in the early days of Etsy. <laughs> so, or not Etsy, eBay, um, because I just, I wasn't using them very much because my hands would cramp. And like you, I'm not a big plastic fan because I feel like there's a lot of drag mm -hmm. and I like to go faster. So I don't like those with the, um, knitters pride ones that you showed i used those for a while but i found that they kept coming undone for me the join i'd be knitting along and they would just come undone and so then i thought well maybe it was just my set but then as i taught at the yarn shop that i taught at a lot of people would bring those in because they're so pretty they're they're mm -hmm. very pretty um and people would be knitting along and then all of a sudden their cord would break and they'd lose stitches and they'd get frustrated so i whether that's a natural thing that always happens with their stuff, I don't know, but it did seem to me that that was something that happened quite often as people are using the Knitter's Pride um, interchangeables, the plastic ones for sure. Um, <clears throat> I never use the small Denise on the go ones. Again, my hands are already so big. I can't, those really small, it doesn't matter what they are. If they're that small, right. I can't use them. It's not going to work for me. Um, but as far as beginners go, when they're so worried about dropping stitches or they don't mm -hmm. want to go too fast or, you know, they're just uh, stepping their toe into the idea of interchangeables, the Denise set is a really good option. The, the Knitter's Pride set is a very good option. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that they are a good stepping stone to working with, uh, interchangeable needles or plastic needles. Um, and you know what? I mean, I have friends who are very experienced, wonderful knitters who love their plastic needles. Like they mm -hmm. love them. So it's all about whatever your preference is. If it works for you, great, do it. Um, that's where I am. Exactly. It really does come down to personal preference and what you want to do and what materials you're working with. Um, one of the things we haven't talked about yet, which really kind of comes into play more with the metal needles, is your tip. Um, some needles have a sharper point to them, where some have a duller point. And again, it's going to depend on what you use with what yarn you use. If you have a yarn that's um, prone to splitting, then you're not going to want to use something that has a super sharp point or you're going to be splitting every stitch that you're trying to do. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on. Sorry, guys. I have them all over the place here. Uh, <laughs> let's move on to... Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We're going to move on to wood needles. And like I showed you, hold on, I don't want to drop these. Like I showed you, we started out with these. These are the um, Extreme Needles by Susan Bates. And these are something that you can use with super duper huge, thick yarn, um, makes your projects go really fast. Uh, it's a plastic cord to it. It's really not flexible, but that's okay because your stitches are so large and you're not using, you know, a huge piece. So these are great for when you have um, big projects with the nice wood. Um, we did have Brittany Needles on the podcast this year, I think. And yeah, this year. Yeah, and so their needles are really great. So they come in packages like this. They have all different sizes. They're made out of um, California sustainably harv harvest a birch. Um, they do have a couple different options with the way the ends are, the sizes. And I will say that I never liked straight needles until I was using Brittany needles. These I find are the not best, but I like them the best because they're lighter um, for when you're using straight needles. They're not as heavy with what you're doing. Now, <clears throat> plastic, I think, has the most drag. I feel wood is in the middle with the amount of drag that you're going to get. 
Again, it really does depend on what kind of yarn you're using. Some yarns are going to drag no matter what. Some are going to be slippery on these materials compared to others. So it really does depend. But in general, I think wood needles are kind of the second most stickiest of them all. Yeah. Are you just talking about straights and circulars today? Or are you going to bring up double points at all? No, we're going to talk about double points. We talked about the um, marbles, double points. Okay. And I have a set of clover here. These are double points. Now, these are bamboo. Yeah. So, again, a bamboo wood is going to be different than a birch wood. Yeah. So, you're going to find that these are going to work differently. And Brittany Needles does have um, DPN. So, again, you can match it to your size. So, when you're working on a project and you have to switch back and forth from your straights to your DPNs, it's going to be um like a seamless transition because they're the same material same company everything else yeah i've got some wood needles here too do you want me to show mine sure so i've got i think these are knitter's pride um they are circulars they have a very nice pliable cord okay mm -hmm. um these are fixed circulars so these are not the interchangeable ones i have had no problem with these so the fixed circulars I've had no issue with at all. Um, these are size 19, so these are very large. But I, I love the way they feel. I love the colors that they come in. I think those are great. Yeah, those are the the dreams. Yeah, I like that. And um, they I, have the interchangeable as well for those and the DPNs cool. in that collection. So I have these here, too. I got these from Hobby Lobby. They were on... Um, on the shelves at Hobby Lobby. These are Knitter's Pride Pro and they say Swift and they're birch, but and they're, they're double points, but they're, they're wood. And I, I like them. I think they're nice. Um, and then this company has since gone out of business, but their Lantern Moon Ebony um, knitting needles. These of course are double points, but, um, and these were pricey. These were $31. This set was $31. Uh, but I love using them. Now they aren't as pointy as I prefer. I don't know if you can see that like they're not like those are pretty blunt. Yeah, they're very blunt. So it was very difficult as I was finishing this hat yesterday and I was going around the top part um, with these. I had a I had a hard time because they're they are pretty blunt. Um, but yeah, so those are the woods ones that I pulled out just to show you real quickly. I don't think I have. Let me see. I've got so many needles. It's ridiculous how many needles I have. It's ridiculous. So while Marley keeps looking, I want to show you this next one from Knitter's Pride. And again, yes, you're going to be spending more money with interchangeables, but you have mm -hmm. to also consider that you're getting all of the needle sizes you're going to need. And a lot of times they come in these wonderful cases. Um, these are the Knitter's Pride Ginger. And these are awesome. I'm working, hint, hint, wink, wink. We're working on the um, 2019 cow project that's coming up. So I'm using these for um, the knit project that we're working on. But this set is awesome. <clears throat> that's pretty. Because, yeah, you open it up, you have all of them. It comes with a pen so you can mark things and you always have it. This down here, um, you it's can fold it. it. Yeah, you can fold it around. I forget. Oh, right, because with these... It has these little loops on the end, and then you hook them onto here. And this is a pattern holder with a magnet. Cool. Um, so you always have your pattern with you. And I then seen that before. That's yeah, really this is cool. one of their newer ones. And then, as always, it has a pocket with your extra cords and ends. Now, I'm going to give you a little tip. The thing that I love, too, about the interchangeables is that um, – I have two cords that are exactly the same length and I'm working on two parts of this project. And so what I did is once I got so far on the one part, I stopped and I used these little stoppers on the end of my cord so my stitches don't fall off, but I could take the needles off and put them on my other cord to get the other half of my project to the same point. Which okay. I think is really great about the interchangeables because yeah. you don't have to use... Um, like a lifeline or whatever to hold your stitches all the time. You can just use the cords right. you're already using. So here's a question with those interchangeables. How does the cord <clears throat> connect with those? Because I know the cord connection on all the different interchangeables, It's each one is unique. Um, yes. And so some of them you have to use a key. Some of them lock in place. Some of them just slide in. What yes. does that particular set do? This is a screw-in. I don't know how well you can see it here, but right here in the tip, you screw it in. It does come with a little key to help tighten it a little bit more uh -huh. um 
But yeah, that's how all of the knitter's prides are. They all screw in. Okay. But I haven't had the issue that you've had. I mean, granted, I've only been using knitter prides for about a year now. Uh -huh. um, but I haven't had the issue with the cords coming apart or anything like that. That's good. So I used to work at the yarn shop about five years ago. So, I mean, it's very possible they've upgraded and improved everything. But it was more than just because people are going to ask. They're like, oh, you just didn't screw them in tight enough. No, that wasn't it. The cord literally broke. Like, it, it's not yeah. like it was still in the needle and broke. <laughs> so that wasn't the issue. But maybe yeah. they've improved. I mean, it's been five years. I've improved in five right. years. So it's very right. possible they have. <laughs> I don't know. I actually, I don't own any more um, Knitter's Pride interchangeable sets. Funny fact. Uh, yeah. I do have some of their double points and then I do have some of their um, fixed circulars. I don't have any more of their interchangeables. Once I, when I didn't use them anymore, I sold them. So, right. you know, uh, anyways, but yeah, so there's that. Good. I'm glad that they, you know, you haven't had any problem with it. That's good. Yeah, not so far. Um, and so also with the gingers, here is their um, DPN set as well. Again, going back to the fact that it's going to match up perfectly with your size and material. So, that makes me want to get that set. That's so pretty. It is really nice. Now, if you liked that one, you're also going to like this one. Okay. Um, this is by Likey, I think is how oh, you say I've it. I've seen this brand, the Driftwood. Yes, the Driftwood. I, these are just stunning. These are so beautiful. Um, they've got a beautiful finish on them. So these are a little bit slicker than some of your other woods because of the finish on them. The cool thing about these is when you have this, there's a little Velcro here in the back. Hold on, let me just do this. And it holds up your needles. I don't know if you can see that. So it holds okay. them up yeah. so that you can see what you have if you're putting them all out. That's great, I think. If you're in the process of designing things and you need to keep switching out needle sizes to test things. Um, but I thought that was a really cool function. Again, inside the pocket, you have all of your cables and your stoppers as well. That's awesome. Yeah, these are really, really pretty. Now, I have seen those ones, like they're getting a lot of hype online and a lot of people trying to get them. So I haven't tried them yet, but you know, cause I don't really use wood needles in general. So I was like, I'm not going right. to go that route, but you really like them. I like them. I mean, again, these I haven't used as much as some of the others, but I liked using them. Now here's something else that you need to consider. If you take a look, these are the gingers by Knitter Pride. These are the driftwood ones that we just showed and look at the tips of that. Well, the parts where you connect to your cord. This one comes down to more of a point and this one is more of a tapered. So again, that's going to alter the way that your stitches kind of rest onto the cord and you may have a preference the way it sits in your hand and kind of how that feels. This may poke a little more depending on where it sits in your hand. Um, this one may not, just kind of depends again you have to try things out. Right. And the trans it's the, the transition point when it's going mm -hmm. from, you know, a really finely tapered area to the, the size of the needle again, that might interfere with things too. I right. mean, it's, it's again, a personal preference. Some people right. will love them. Some people will hate them, but you have to try them all out. Right. And again, that's why we always do a gauge swatch. So you know right. what's happening because each of these needles is going to cause something different to happen. Right. <clears throat> that's cool. Okay, so another set of, uh, which one are these called? These are the Royal <clears throat> DPN set from Knitter's Pride. And these are kind of cool because, <clears throat> for a number of reasons, they have wood bodies, they have metal tips, and at the very top, I don't know how well you can see it, there's a little hole in the, the needle that you can... Um, sometimes used to help with your lifeline oh, if you want to put one through. Huh. So those are pretty cool. That's pretty. But I like these because, yes, they're very pretty. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they kind of give you the best of both worlds almost because they have the wood feel to it. So you've got the wood in your hand, but they've got <clears> – I'm sorry, guys. They've got a metal tip, so it's a little bit – um sharper than maybe some of your woods would be. So it's kind of a blend between the two. Cool. Um, okay, so I think we're ready to move on to metal needles. Oh, wait, um, we have a giveaway. Okay. We have two giveaways actually right now for Brittany needles. We're giving away um, a size seven, a four and a half millimeter and a set of cable needles. 
Um, sorry guys, US residents only because we're shipping it out. And um, so if you want to enter, go ahead and comment. What should they comment? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I um, I I want them. I want them. Okay. <laughs> just comment. I want them, and we will pick two winners in just a little bit. So okay. there's two sets. So you get each winner will get this and this. That's one winner. Awesome. And then there's two of these. So okay. So metal needles. Now metal needles tend to be. I don't know, I go back and forth between the wood and the metal just depending on what I want to do. Um, a lot of it too comes down to, I like the wood sometimes because I have young kids. And so if I want to be doing things while they're sleeping in the car, metals tend to be clicky and make a little bit more noise. So let's start here with um, the Jimmy Beans wool. These are a new knitting needles and these are called the Smart Sticks. And I'll be honest, these kind of just showed up, so I haven't had a ton of time to play around with these. But the cool thing about them is they are marked in inch increments so that you can use this to measure your gauge swatches um, or measure like how far you've gone in something or things like that if you have another one in your bag. Even the cord is marked off in inch increments if you can I love that. see that. So these are metal tips. Again, I haven't really had a chance to use them, um, but I did a little swatching and they were nice to swatch with. So I would assume that a full project would be just as nice as well. Mm -hmm. I know if you got their advent calendar, those were in the advent calendar for this year um, that you got to try those out. Cool. Okay, so back to Knitter's Pride, which they have one of everything. So you really can pick any material that you want. Um, these are their Zing collection, and these are their metal needles. And now these are a little bit different than some of the others because when you look at these, particularly in the smaller sizes, you can see there's really not much of a taper at all uh -huh. to go into the um, cording, which uh -huh. is kind of nice depending on what you're doing. Um, but these have a two, two colors. They've got the silver on the top and then your body colors tells you what size they are. Yeah, I like those. So yeah, these were really nice to work with as well. Um, the cool thing about their cords, as you can see here, is they're color coded. Uh -huh. So you know <clears throat> that you have the same size cord based off of what color you're using. And again, they also have um, the extenders or whatever you wanna call them. So you could put two smaller cables together or a small and a large depending on what size project you are working on. Cool. So, but again, all comes together, one nice zip up case so you don't lose anything. It's very All nice. right there together. Yeah, I like those too. Did Knitter's Pride send you all these? These are great. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank yeah, you. They, yeah, they were wonderful with this and getting us uh, samples to try out. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, so this is also their metal. This is their... I always say this wrong. Car carbonzo, carbon, yeah, bon, carbon, carbons, carbons, yeah, yeah, <laughs> carbons. Um, these are great. These are really a smooth, um, slick kind of. Now I like those. I've tried them with them. in um, some of the classes I've taught at Stitches. People will yeah. bring these in, and I'm like, oh, I want to try those, and they feel really good. Like I like those a lot. These are definitely, I would say, a faster needle. Yes, um, that's why I like them. <laughs> yeah. It really glides really nice over these needles. I really like these. Um, it was very smooth. Again, a nice little case for you. Now these are probably the smallest set that Knitter's Pride offers. Um, the other ones usually have, you know, the fuller range of the size four to the 11s, where this has a size, uh, oh, what is the smallest one? I can't see. I will say their packaging is on point. It's really yeah. good. This is a two and a half to a six. So these are definitely smaller needles, um, a smaller set, but still really great. Yeah. Um, fast needles. That's perfect. <clears throat> okay, let me grab a drink here quick. No, go ahead. This is fine. Are you guys having a good time so far? I'll well, see all these needles. I think it's cool. Um, metal, I'm a metal girl. I'm such a metal girl. Uh, I, I mean, I have my wood needles and I use them every now and again, but I prefer to 
I like I like the speed of the metal needles. So I this is I'm like, oh yeah, we're in my jam now. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the next ones I'm going to show you are my Addy needles. I love these. these. Are really great. I love these, except they are a little loud. Like I, I love said, them. You know, with kids, but um, these are really great. So you can see here, you have your full set. These are in a project. Um, <laughs> two sets are in a project right now. <laughs> I you love how that. Goes now. These, these are the they are the longer ones. So these yeah. are the the Addy aren't the Addy lace long, but they're the longer shaft. So yes. you could do longer projects where they have a brown packaging actually, where they it's a shorter. Oh, I got to show. Hold on. So this is the brown packaging where it's the shorter needle. So you can actually do 16 inch round projects mm -hmm. with the shorter needle. Um, I will be completely honest. The Addies are my go-to needles. Um, no, I'm going to change that up. They used to be my go-to needles. Lately, I have another brand that I picked up and I've been using more and more and more. And I'm very happy with it. When we get to it, I'll tell you what it is. But the Addies... Like I own two sets of each of these. Uh, like I, I love them. They, they, there's a set that is always in my travel bags. Um, there's a set that's always in my knitting bag because I just really like them. And I love that you can buy um, more cords. You can buy more needles right. to fill in the sets. Like if you have some that you know you're always changing out, uh, you can buy extensions to the set. I love right. the Addies and um, I use them quite often. Yeah, and in each of your kits, you get a little needle gauge to go with it, just in case you would need to know. Oops, I lost that one. Um, you also get one of these little gripper pads because these are the first set that we're showing. There's only one other set that does not screw in. Mm -hmm. And these you kind of put in and you twist it to lock it into place, but it's just one twist. It's not like constantly no. screwing. You hear a click. Yep. Yep. You the thing that. that I like about these cords are that um, you're not going to be able to see it, but on here it says Addy, it says made in Germany. And then this one says that it, it's 16 inches. So it literally tells you on each of the cords what the length is. So there's no guessing, um, you know what it is, and you're not just trying to like measure it up. The now, other- no wear, one, those do wear off over time though. I will let you guys know. Okay, well then I haven't I've, used mine enough yet. Yeah, I've, I've used <laughs> mine over time. Are you going to show the straight Addies as well? Not straight Addies, I mean just like the fixed. Um, no, I don't have any of those. So you can show, show those. those. But so, I mean, awesome, if you don't, hold on, before we move on, the awesome, awesome thing about these is that um, slightly down. Oh, I don't know if I can show this on the video. There's a little slit. I don't know if you can see right here. My thumb is in it. There's a little slit that you can open this up and you can put a lifeline through there. So as you knit, you can just pull this through. And now your lifeline is in and you're not trying to um, sew your lifeline in later. Right. I'm going to see if they can hear the click because that's one thing I like. So they're called Addy Clicks. Right. Um, but let's see, so the, it's just an open hole there. There's nothing else. And this is the thing that pops in. You can see there's kind of like this beveled area there. Can you see that? So when you click this in, tell me if you can hear it. Uh, you probably can't hear it. It just, it like clicks in and like it's secure. It doesn't move. The lip is, is not like, it doesn't bother me at all. Like they are so, they're so wonderful. And so to get it out, you push on it and turn and it pops off. It's, they're really fantastic. I love them very much. The other, if you don't want to go the full interchangeables, because there are people who are like, you know what? I just don't, I don't want interchangeables. I want fixed needles. And trust me, I understand that too. I've got all sorts of fixed needles too. And I've got at least three or four four full sets of Addy fixed needles because I love them so much. And that's what we used all the time at uh, Knit Knack when I worked there. So I have the fixed needles. They usually come in a, a plastic package like this. And so when they come out, there's different cords. I don't know if they sell this cord anymore. That's how old these are. These are so old. Um, but it's just, it's the needle itself with the cord. It has the writing on the cord still. Okay. And this is a longer cord, but they also have, um, the blue plastic cord. There's some red plastic cord I've seen. Um, and then there's the Addy lace. So these are the Addy turbos. Let me pull out an Addy lace pair because they're like brass. So the, um, let me see here. I have, this is so old. This is, <laughs> 
I have this thing here from Erin Lang. She doesn't even make these anymore, so don't ask her. But it hangs all the needles on it. You see that? So these are just some of my needles that I use all the time, so I don't want to put them back in their plastic container. <laughs> um, but like these, so this is a blue cord, and you can see they're they're like brass looking see how pointy it is like oh, i love these so much now i will say i have friends who don't like to use these because they feel like they taste like copper pennies in their mouth when they're using them you know they're just real sensitive to them but i know that addy has made other needles now since these came out with the really sharp point of the lace but in not the brass so you can choose to use those as well um I'm an Addy fan. I love them. I think they're very wonderful. Uh, they do come out with straight needles as well. If you choose to use those, they have double points. They're also the people that came out with the flexi flips, you know, so those are metal as well. Um, you got those too, Caitlin. Yep. You're on mute still, hon. There you go. Yes. I haven't tried these out yet. This is the only set I haven't tried out yet just because I don't use DPNs as often as anything else in my project, but these are very intriguing uh -huh. with how they're flexible in the middle. Have you tried them yet? I have tried them. They're very similar to using two circulars. So okay. I, was, I was very familiar with using them. Like it was, it was not a difficult thing for me to use. Uh, the transition was really easy and I could see the ease of them from um, double points for people who don't just are not comfortable with double points. So I think they're, they're really great, but um, awesome. yeah. There you go. That's the, the Addy Clicks. I love the Addy Clicks. I do like my Addies. They're really great. You're just saying that because I bought them for you. <laughs> well, that too, but I do tend to go to them often. I love them. That's why they're not all in my case. <laughs> <laughs> do you have the Chai Goos? Yes. Because those, those are, are my go-to needles lately. Oh, really? Yes. Like, I use them all the time lately. Very cool. Yeah. So, again, these are screw-ins. Um, well, I have – which ones do I have? I have the Chaigu Twist. Yeah, I do, too. With the red lace interchangeable. Yes. So, it comes with red, beautiful red cords. Yes. And, again, it's just a screw-in, just like the others. But I feel like these are – just so light. I love them. I love, I love the tip. I love the join with the screw turn. Mm -hmm. I love, I love everything about these. I love the flexibility of the cord. Like these have been wrapped up and you can see that when I undo that, like I didn't have oh, to that's do anything awesome. else to them. Yeah. Um, I, I love these. I also love the fact that, I mean, I'm using them all the time. And so, like, I've doubled up on my packaging. I went to the store and I bought extra tips of the sizes yeah. that I use all the time. I was going to say, I have to still get the rest of my set. I only have the half set. So, oh, yeah. So, I've bought extra tips. I have them all. Oh, I, I guess people, oh, yeah, they can see me. Um, I bought extra tips, put them all in there. I bought extra cords. I, I literally use this all the time anymore. Like I even <laughs> look at this. I opened it up just now and even my signatures are resting inside of it because I was doing a, a swap out. Not because I didn't like these, but because these, um, these are fixed sig signatures, which they don't make anymore. They only make the interchangeable signatures. Um, but I needed a smaller cord. So I was like, Oh, I'll just swap them out real quick. So I had these in there. Um, but we could talk about these in a second. But yeah, the yeah. the Chaigu, they are they are they are my favorite right now. Did you see these from the Chaigu? Hold on, these are really great if you are a sock knitter or enjoy circular needles for your hats. So it's just this little pouch that you can attach. It's got a nice little like ring you can put it on your keychain or whatever. And you pull this out, and these are your needles. No way. <gasps> Oh, but those are so tiny. They are so teeny, teeny, tiny. Oh, I would never be able to use those. But these are great for like if you're a sock knitter or something, or if you're doing a lot of traveling. Um, it's a like teeny, little tiny. nine inch, eight inch sock circulars. Yeah, because the cords are really small and yeah. really thin, but these are perfect for the sock knitters out there who like, you know. They call they're called shorties or something like that, aren't something they? Something like that. Yeah. Didn't. I don't have the name of it with it. So it's like the Chaigu sock shorties or something. Yeah, something like that. But these are, these are really cool. Those are cool. I, now I will say, 
I haven't used them. I am willing to try because <laughs> those are cool. Yeah. yeah, who knows? Maybe that would be that would be what I love. Yes, people. Oh, yes, people are saying they're the shorty set, um, yeah. and they love them. So yeah, the the Chaigu, the Chaigu ones are like some of my favorites. They are like I went to the store. I was looking. I was just looking for my. I have a little. I don't know. I have a little thing where I bought a whole bunch of extra inserts at the at the uh, yarn store on Black Friday. John went with me to the yarn store on Black Friday. What? Yeah, and it wasn't even. It just happened to be Black Friday. I was working on hats, and I was like, I really need some more needles. And he goes, Really? <laughs> I have. I mean, this here, you guys. That's all needles. That nothing else just needles so when he's like you really need more needles i'm like i really do i need some more extensions to this set and my local yarn store sells them so i went there bought some more cords bought, bought some more of the needle tips um and he was like i can't believe i'm at the yarn store with you. <laughs> but i mean i love them i i just think they're they're really useful they're they're really good i like them a whole lot a whole lot i i recommend them highly yeah. um do you have any of the signatures I do. I have my GPNs. I don't have any of the straight ones. Um, I don't either. Or the circulars. But yeah. their circulars are... I, I don't... Go ahead. They have a way of explaining it, but it's kind of hard to explain. They're not interchangeables right. in the sense that you can't use the cords on multiple needles. Right. But you can put different cords on each set of needles. So you have right. to have multiple cords for your pair of needles. Right. Let me grab mine. I'll explain how that works. Okay. But yeah, these are my DPN set. Um, this is what I learned how to work with DPNs on and they are amazing. Um, they're so smooth. It, it glides over them. You know, I wasn't afraid of dropping stitches or anything. I really like them and they're nice and pointy. I find these are a little bit on the pointier side and I really like it. Yeah. They're wonderful. I've got so many. <laughs> All right, here we are. Okay, these are not the right set, but here we go. Okay. So you guys, if you first off, if you have not watched the 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 yarn thing podcast we did with signature needles, you really should yeah. go watch it. It's really good. And I'm not just saying that because it's my show, but it's just it's very informative. It's really good. Um, I I love signature needles. I think they are they're the Ferrari of needles. Like they are, they're expensive. They uh, I, I don't, I don't know. Like there's, it's that thing that if you have a knitter in your life that you're just like, what do I get them? They have everything. Most of the time getting them a set of signature needles is one of the things you could do that they're like, Whoa, you know what I mean? Like, it's just one of those things. So way back in the day, they used to sell just their fixed circulars. Okay. So for at first it was just their straights. And then everybody was like, we want circulars. They're like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And then they came out with circulars and then people were upset because they didn't like the cord. There were different things about them. They didn't like, but they perfected them over time and they were selling them like this. Love them. So you can see here, it's a big, it's a big cardstock. The needle is inserted into that cardstock. The cord is already attached. Can you see that? I know it's a little dark. Um, and on the back here, it tells you the different information. So these are size six needles. They're six inch needle length. And it's a 32 inch overall length. So you can choose your needle length and your cord length. So it's two different things. Okay. So since making these fixed ones, they now make them, and that's what these are too. These are fixed ones. They now make them as interchangeable, but they aren't interchangeable with each other. So what this is, so here we are. So now it comes in a different packaging. So it's still the cardstock, but it opens up like this. Okay. So now your needles are down here and you have your cord. And these ones are cool. These are the ones that, I don't know if you can see. These are the ones they sent me. Can you see my name? They engraved my name on them after the podcast. Can you see it? It's kind of hard to see, huh? It says Marley. But yeah, you can get them engraved with anything you want. Yeah, uh, you can't see. It says no. Marley, just trust me, it says Marley. But, um, so I mean, that was very kind of them. Um. So anyways, they send you those and you get the cord. So you get this package. So these are size eight needles. Needle length is six inches. Overall length is 40. But say you wanted to 
get um, an overall needle length of 32 or 24, or whatever it is, then you have to buy the cords separately. And you'll notice the cords are labeled with the information of what needle they assemble to. Does that make sense? So this cord is a size, goes for a size nine needle, a six inch needle length and a 40 inch. This is, makes it the overall thing 40. So I could not put this cord on this needle. I'd have to get out my size nine, six inch needle. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. Um, same thing for this. So this is my size nine, six inch needle and my overall needle length will be 47. And then this one is my size 10 needle, six inch needle length overall will be 10 or I mean 40. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So for this one, these needles here, these are my size nine, six inch, 32 length. So as I open this up, that's my size nine. With this cord, I get 32 length, but I can interchange it with these two cords because these are size nine, six inch needle. So if I interchange with these two cords, they work with this needle, but I can't put them on my size eight needle. You with me? Mm -hmm. So it's it's a, a little bit more complex, not as user friendly, even though it's it's not hard. It's very easy, right. but it's not like, um, you know, as simple, simple as picking up like Knitter's Pride and just everything's right there for you. Or, right. you know, it's different. Even the Chai Goos, <laughs> when you have uh, the Chai Goo laces that we use or that we were showing you just a little bit ago. So even with these, they have a different, <coughs> excuse me, size cord for the smaller needles or the bigger needles. There's a small and a large, right. and it's just the diameter of the actual cord. So this just takes it, it's just the one step further, but it's a way to um, maximize your needle set without having to constantly buy new pairs or new, new needle tips. Um, having said that, I still find that I'm always using the needles, so I do have a lot of them, but I, I love my signatures. They do come with um, the midi, which is kind of a blunt tip to them. Mm -hmm. the, the stiletto, which is the pointy tip, which is what I love about them. Again, I like to work really fast and I like my needles to be sharp, get into my stitches really easily because I don't use a cable needle when I cable. So these are fantastic to me. I love the way they feel. I love the cord. I, I I love everything about them. The cord swivels too. Like the cord is, I'm holding the cord steady. See how oh, the, the needle swivels? So it it you don't get extra torque or tension on the cord. Right. Um, so I like that a lot. And then as far as the needle lengths, I do want to point out, so the needle lengths, they aren't only uh, adjustable for the signatures or not the signatures for the interchangeable ones they have, but even their double points, you, know, you can get different needle lengths. Like these are both size eight signature needles in one these are five inch and these are i think seven or eight inch like they're long um but you can get different lengths and remember earlier when we were talking about the denise interchangeables how they my hand would cup over them because the shaft of the needle was so short so that's what i love so much about my signatures let me see my hand i don't mm -hmm. have any i don't have any sort of cramping i'm very comfortable as i'm working with these of course you can only use the longer needle length with when you're using with longer cords if i was going to 16 inch by by design you have to have a, a tinier needle um but these are very comfortable for me and for somebody who is knitting as often as i do it's important that i for the ergonomics of it all that i am very comfortable um you know comfortable with the needles in my hand comfortable with where i sit and all of that like it's it's important to me so um these are very pricey like i said these are like the ferrari of the knitting world. Uh, it is an American made company or these are American made products from American owned company. Mm -hmm. um, they're fantastic. And no, I don't represent them. I'm purely just a customer. I didn't, the only ones I got sent, I almost said I didn't get any of these sent free. Out of the many years I have been using signatures, these are the only free signatures I've ever gotten. And they're the ones that were sent to me by the owner when she was on the podcast just recently. I mean, you have no idea how much I treasure these. The fact that she put my name on it, like, I was like that is so cool. But I mean, these, when I go to buy needles, I buy these needles and they're very expensive. Um, so <laughs> I save my money and I treat myself and, and there you have it. So that's, that's my spiel on signature needles. Yeah. And if you haven't heard the podcast, it's really worth going to listen to just to hear the story yes. of the family and the company that's behind those awesome needles. Yeah. 
it's cool. I mean, and like I said, it's not just me tooting my own horn because it's my podcast. Like it's, right. it's very fascinating. The owner is very fascinating. The company is very interesting. Um, yeah. So it's, and, it's very nice. And the Brittany Needles podcast as well. They're oh, actually yes, in that their one was shop. Great. Yeah, they're yes. in their shop and like they tell the story about how they got started. Um, that is a family run business as well. Yes. Um, in the second generation now mm-hmm. of the family. I mean, that was an amazing, that amazing. That was an amazing. I was going to bring that up too. The Brittany needles. Cause I had never learned about them ever. Right. And so that was fascinating to me. I really did enjoy that. Yeah. Um, a lot. Uh, another company that we haven't talked about yet is collage. And they're my next one. All right. So collage used to be a small, like collage, the company used to be a sponsor of the podcast. And since, then collage has actually went, uh, they, they've gone out of business, but they sold their needle division to Louette. So mm-hmm. Louette is continuing on with the collage square needles. Now here's the interesting thing about the collage square needles. They were the first company to come out with needles that were not round. They were the first company to say, Oh, well, I wonder what this does. This makes things a little bit different. Um, and they came out with the collage square needles. If you have taken my craftsy class on mittens and gloves galore, you know that I recommend the square collage double points because I feel like the precision point on them is fantastic. I mean, it is pointy. It will put a hole in your finger. Um, if you're if you're one of those people that like pushes the needle down all the time, it'll put a hole in your finger. But the I love the consistency of the stitch it makes. I feel like it the the metal isn't so slick that it, it will fall out for people who are new to double points. I feel like it holds a little bit because of the ridges of the square. Um, I love them. I think they're very nice. Since working with collage, I mean, I've been working with collage for so long. Um, not since they moved to Louis wet but before uh they would always come to the designer and ask the the designers what they wanted out of the needle and that's why they got the precision point that's why their cords are there's there's firm cords there's flexible Mm -hmm. cords there's you know like there's there's options there for you and they're very nice right before collage the company decided to close its doors they were coming out with interchangeables and i know that mark at collage was spending a lot of time to find a unique way to put together these interchangeable needles and i had the the privilege of being able to sample out some of the first sets i really liked them a lot um but all of that is to say that's the history, my history with collage. I don't know if anything at all has changed moving to Louette. I have no idea. My assumption is that Louette has taken the good quality that collage had before and just moved it over to their name because they they understand that these are good quality needles. And Louette is a really great quality company. So it would shock me if these are not quality needles. So I'm going to ask you, here you go. That's my introduction to collage <laughs> Louette. So, uh, excuse me. Yes, let's see here. So these are the square needles and they sent, um, hold on, now we're stuck. They sent two samples and you can see, well, maybe not. This one is the super, what do they call this? The soft cable and it just really like flows. And this one is the firm cable and it's more, it's not rigid or anything like that, but this, the the firm cable is more of what you're gonna get in all of the other kits that we were showing. This soft cable is like liquidy almost. Um, This is really great if you want to use magic loop. I mean, obviously you're going to need a longer cord than this, but it's super flexible um, to be able to be moving it around. Now, they say that these square needles are supposed to help you get um, even stitches and especially if you're a tight knitter. So I started using them because I'm a tight knitter, um, well, at least a lot tighter than Marley. And so I'm trying them out to see how well that works for us. So we're gonna see how this works. Um, they, so they have the cords attached to them. They also have the DPNs, like Marley said. Again, all square to them. You can see it has all the different sides to them. They're not rounded. I mean, the tips are normal tips. They're just- It looks know. like they added, the hash marks. Yeah, they have um, measuring oh, cool. marks on them. Awesome. Just, but that's only on the, the double DPN. points. That's cool, though. That's new. Um, since I've used them, that's new. Yep, it's only on the DPNs. And then you can also get the interchangeable set like Marley was talking about. But like she said, 
um, these have a different way of connecting them. So if you do purchase these, it's highly recommended you go to their YouTube video to learn how to connect it so you don't break the connections when you put them in and take them out um, specifically the first couple of times. Yep, you have to use a special like tweezers type tool. Yes. Let's it's see. pretty cool. So oh, I, I love those. I, I mean, yeah, there you go. And that is, that is patent pending. Like that's a special tool designed by Mark from collage when he was putting, making all of these, uh, the interchangeable set. Yeah. They're pretty cool. It's pretty neat stuff. So I really like them. I'm enjoying using them and I'm hoping that they help my stitches not be all so right. tight. So here's something. So as I'm sitting here talking about the square needles, it totally like, triggered my mind that I did want to mention the hexagon needles and I had yes. pulled, I went meant to pull these out when we were talking about the wood products, but then that's when my dog was barking and I got sidetracked. So can we go back to a wood needle real quick? Would you yep. mind? Okay. Yep. So I'm going to go back to talk about some wood needles real quick that I really do love. So remember I told you that I don't use wood needles very much, but when I do, these are the ones I use. I want to make sure I give them some love and show you guys um, these are handcrafted needles. These are designed by the actual owners of the company, handcrafted by the owners of the company. They are some of the most genuinely kind people I've ever met in my entire life. I absolutely adore them. So if you're one of those people that likes to support companies where you know the people are are just good, genuinely kind individuals, good to their employees, just great people, this is one of them. I'm talking about Indian Lake Artisans and Indian Lake Artisans. They, I just, I can't speak highly enough about them. They, all of their needles are made out of different woods. These are cherry. This is maple. We have walnut um, and they have double points, straights and circulars and recently have come out with interchangeables, which they cannot keep in stock. Um, like they are, they're constantly sold out because people love them so much again. So I'm going to pull out the circulars first. So these circulars here, these are the maple. These are size five maples. You can see the plastic join, but again, I'm going to hold the cord. See how it swivels. So it swivels around so you don't get extra torque or tension on your cord at all. They are so nice and smooth and they are in the shape of a hexagon. So think of like your pencil, okay? How you're used to writing a pencil and the comfort of that, that's what you get with these hexagon needles. They're so wonderful. They are very well made. Um, so those are the circulars. Let me pull out the, the double points. My daughter, they sent my daughter a set of straights and she has them in her room. Otherwise I would show you right now, but she has them. So I can't show you their double points. They come in different lengths as well. These are the eight inch double points, but you can see again, they're hexagon. They have each size is imprinted into the needle itself. They are very, very well made. As I mentioned before, these are the cherry wood they feel good. They feel warm in your hands. Um, they are, I'm going to say they are not inexpensive. I'm not going to say they're expensive, but they are not inexpensive. These are definitely one of those things. It's for the serious knitter that's wants to improve on the quality of their needles, you know, just something extra. I mean, cause there's always, you never know what type needle you want to use for what project. Right. Um, I think that walnut are my favorite. I love the sturdiness of them. I feel like they're strong. Um, and I love the way they feel in my hands as I'm knitting. They are very nice and pointy, okay, which I love about these because I find that most wood needles are not super pointy. So I love that they are nice and pointy. The join itself is so smooth that as you're transitioning the stitches up onto your needle, you don't get a snag, you know, so I'm not fearful of using these with silk yarn or any sort of yarn that's going to snag on me. Um, I find them to be just wonderful. I'm going to show you some of the smaller double points so that you do know they come in different sizes. So these are the double points for the six inch. These are size, oh, I guess you can't see, huh? Sorry, I'll open them up. So these are walnut six inches. So you can see they're a lot shorter than the eight inch. Let me pull out some of the eight inch. 
So depending on what your project you're doing, what you require for the length of needle, um, you do have options for different lengths. Again, they're very comfortable and there's a lot of familiar familiarity with using them because they are the shape of a hexagon. They're shaped like, like your number two pencil. So they're very comfortable to use. And as I mentioned, the company itself, wonderful company. And I think I want to point that out. All the companies we've talked about today that I know of are wonderful companies to um, the people that work there, they're, they're, all of that stuff. So for example, like I've worked one-on-one, -on -one, I'll tell you the companies that I've worked one-on-one -on -one with, um, Collage. I have people that work with Louette that have nothing but high things to say about them and I respect their opinion. So I would say that Louette is a fantastic company. I know Indian Lake is fantastic. Scassell, who owns the Addies or distributes the Addies, they are amazing. Signature Needle, amazing. Chai Gu, I've had the pleasure of meeting them a couple times. Such kind, wonderful individuals. Um, I know Laura Zander over at Jimmy Bean's Wool. I think the only people I've never really met are the, the Knitter's Pride, which is crazy. Like they're the ones they sent so many different things to review, which is fantastic because it's been my experience. They're one of the number one needles that people, when they're, they're stepping away from, I also want to say Clover is really fantastic also. Um, but when they're stepping out of that big box store brand and they're like, okay, I'm going to venture out and try out some different needles beyond what I can get at Joann's, Michael's, Walmart, wherever, uh, let's try this. They, they inevitably step on with, uh, Knitter's Pride. And I mean, that's an important position to hold in our, in our world. And, um, my assumption is because of that, they, I mean, I, I would hope that they, they're a wonderful company as well. I've never heard anything negative about them ever. So that's, I think that's a big plus because as you guys know, <laughs> the minute somebody has something to say that's negative, they don't hesitate to share it. So I've never heard anything negative about them, which is um, which is a plus. Brittany, are fantastic people. Mm -hmm. um, Lantern Moon is out of business since um, since making these, but they were fantastic. Um, I don't know. It's just it's nice being able to work with these companies. Mm -hmm. And Susan Bates, if you don't know, Susan Bates is owned by Red Heart. So the Susan Bates needles that you use out there, those are Red Heart needles. Mm -hmm. So there you go. All right. Anything else? No, but we do have to pick our winners for the Brittany needles. And we're also going, <clears throat> excuse me, going to be having a giveaway for these two um, sets of collage needles but this we're going to put up in the show notes to um you'll have to go there to be able to enter so that we can give people who watch later a chance as well to win something so but we are ready for the two Britneys. okay but i do want you to explain how you're going to do the giveaway because that's a little it's a little bit different with these collage ones because they have to they have to go well, to something like a yeah it's just like what we do for all of the other giveaways on the website um that are not podcast related um if you do our wednesday reviews or anything like that you'll go to the show notes um, or the blog page you'll scroll down to the section at the bottom and there'll be something you can fill in your email address and then it'll give you a couple different options on how you can enter and get points to enter and then at the end um, which this is going to end on sunday night um we'll be able to pick a winner from everybody who entered through there. So if you comment anywhere, we love it, but it's not going to count for the giveaway of these needles. You have to go and click on the link that's in the blog post that will be going up shortly. All right. So let's go ahead and let's, um, what I'm thinking here, Caitlin is let's go ahead and pick a winner for the Brittany needles. And then, um, let's scroll through some of the chat and answer any of the questions that people had. Cause we were just, you know, going through it all. And I know that there's a lot of questions, so let's, let's do that. Um, so I am going to go up where people were saying I want to win. All right. So I'm scrolling. Oh, hold on. My computer paused on me. All right. You tell me when to stop. Stop. All right. That was Linda Osterman. Linda Osterman is the winner of one set of the Brittany needle and cable needle combo. So Linda Osterman, let me write this down so that I can let Linda know. Congrats. Um, email us at yarnthingpodcast.com. Right. Winner. Yeah. Winner. I'm like, that didn't seem right. Winner at yarnthingpodcast.com. So that was Linda. And then, so we have a second one to give away. So I'm scrolling again. You tell me when to stop. And stop. All right. That is Marianne 
Penner, Marianne Penner. Congratulations, Marianne. So at Mary Ann Penner. Congrats. All right. And email us at winner at yarn thing podcast. Dot com. Um, okay, sweet. And it just so as they're still listening, they need you need their email address and phone number, correct? Uh, their mailing address. Did I say email? Yes. Mailing address. Yes. All right. So uh, let's look through some of these comments. I'm scrolling up and it says here. So Chris Lopez says, I love the rhythmic click when I don't have little ones so that they might yeah. wake up. I actually agree. I love the rhythmic um, I like clicky it sound. I, I like it too. Nice. I think it's but nice. I always feel like it's too loud when you've got sleeping kids like in the back seat or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then as I'm scrolling a little bit more, it says Christy Chronic says, I think I'm falling in love with Jimmy Bean. I, it's a great company to fall in love with. So um, family owned, woman owned. She is, she's a force to be reckoned with that Laura. She's pretty fantastic. Let's see here. Everybody's saying that they, um, I want them more than anyone else does. <laughs> so people are saying that I'm still in the I want area. Um, what about the, the Takumi interchangeables? Takumi. Did you try those? I've never tried no, those. I didn't even hear about those. So those would be the Clover, Clover Takumi. Oh, um, there. So it would yeah. be bamboo. Um, you know what? I know that the Clover brand itself, they are, they're wonderful needles. I have not mm. tried the Clover Takumi needles. Um, I'm not a big bamboo fan because I tend to bend the bamboo part because it's such a pliable okay. wood. Um, so that's the only reason why. No, nothing to do. It doesn't matter what the needle is. I just tend to... Right. All of a sudden, I have a curved needle. Yeah, that's not <laughs> that's good. No fun. I mean, I have tried their um, bamboo interchangeable um, Tunisian hooks, and I love those. So okay. if they're anything like that, then I'm sure they're great, too. Awesome. Let's see here. D. Thomas says, I love the new needle nook and snap case that holds your working needles as you are working on a project so your work doesn't fall off. Genius. I'm guessing she's talking about some of the interchangeables. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wonder if that's the Knitter's Pride one you were talking about as it was all snapping oh, together and yeah, showing yeah. everything. That was pretty cool. Not going to lie, that the packaging, mm -hmm. Knitter's Pride, their packaging is on point. Yeah. I mean, this one is just amazing because you have, oh, geez, you have this to put your pattern in here. You know, you fold it around and... I forget exactly how it goes together. You, I think it snaps in here like this with the snaps. And then you have to put the little bands on it here to hold it. But anyway, so it ends up like this. And you can put your pattern in here while you have your needles and your pen. And it comes with stitch markers and your extra cords. So really, like, this is all you need to carry with you forever. I like that. I want that. If Knitter's Pride is listening, I would really like to try that. That's really cool. <laughs> Um, so I think that's great. Let's see here. Um, I'm scrolling through. I got to get out of the, I want, <laughs> um, the carbons. I've heard great things about the carbons. Chris Lopez says that I have too, Chris. So the carbons, I have seen a lot of people use those in my double pointed needle class. And one of the things that I really like about those, I like the weight of them. They have a weight to them. And I love that. Um, how about you? Yeah, I enjoyed them. Um, again, some of them I used more than others. These I just kind of used for swatching. Um, but I definitely enjoyed these and I liked how slick they were and everything else. And like, even though there's a tip and then a body, I didn't feel like there was like you weren't snagging over anything while you're working with them. So I really liked them. Yeah, I've heard great things about those. I've used their double points of the carbons and I, I really okay. enjoyed, I liked them a lot. I liked I like the way they felt in my hand. Yeah, they're nice. Very cool. See, Barbara Dahl says, metal are the best for tight knitters like me. Chaigu Red Lace are wonderful. Yes, they are. Absolutely. They're fantastic. Mary Ann Penner says she has never used wood needles. Uh, give it a try. You never know. Maybe it was, maybe it'd be a way that you enjoy your knitting a little bit more. Or maybe you enjoy it a little bit less. I don't know. You don't have to. <laughs> um, but it's, you know, it's worth a try. Uh, D Rains says she is saving for the Zing set. Which one was Ooh. the Zing set? Um, those were the colored ones. Mm. These, I think. Those are very pretty. Right? Yeah. They're the metal. 
um it doesn't it comes with well this is the deluxe set with nine needle tips okay it's very yeah pretty. these are really cool i like these a lot that's cool uh, D. Thomas says that she also loves the Addies as well. Yes. So for you, um, were the Addies the first interchangeables that you had had? No, I had the Denise first. Oh, that's right. Um, <clears throat> so honestly, like, do you like the Addies? Like, I love them. That's, I mean, that's why I got them for you. I'm like, they're my favorite. <laughs> I love the Addies. I think they're really smooth and they just kind of glide. I have no problems with them. I love the cords on them. Um, but I'm like you, I like the longer tips to them because when they're too short, they like sit in here and I just don't like that feel. Like I don't feel like I have enough leverage on short tips. So, but the Addies, the regular, um, the pink set, these are perfect. I love these so much. Yeah, I, agree. I really do. That's why they're in two of my projects right now and they're not in my kit, but I really like these. I mean, they're not super long, but they're this, just is a good, right. this is a good length for me. Yep. Right here. And, you know, yes, you can get the pointier tips, but I like these tips. They're very yeah, nice. They're very nice. They I don't like have to be sharp for me because yeah. I push on my points sometimes. So. <laughs> so this is a good, this isn't really a question. This is a statement, but I think it's one that's important because I think a lot of people are probably thinking about this. Um, Cinna is saying, yes, I would love a set, but I can't afford to pay out $200 for knitting needles. So I used to think the exact same thing. And then I started buying all of the Addies in the individual packages. Okay, so when I tell you guys I have so many, like all my chores are open now because I was looking. Like I have I have so many packages of needles. You guys see all these? And as I pull these out and I start looking at the prices, like mm -hmm. these are $16 and that's just one set, right? And then, gosh, so many. These are 16, these are $20. I mean, you start adding up and that's just for one size needle, one length cord. So when you start right. adding up, you know, as you start, oh, I'm sorry to hit the microphone. As you start moving up in the quality of needle or um, mm -hmm. is it quality? Is that really the right word? I don't know if that's the right word because that diminishes the lower, the other, the less. Um, right. It just depends on your materials and things like that. Yeah. Like it just Yes. Yeah, so I don't mean right. that as demeaning to anything else, but as you start moving up and getting more, more, more expensive needles, mm -hmm. it's actually more cost effective to buy the interchangeables than the, the fixed sets in the many different lengths, because you could end up buying a pair of size eight, 16 inch, a pair of size eight, 20 inch, 24 inch, 30 inch, 32 inch, 37 or 30 six inch 42 47 60 like it goes on and on and on and right there you've just done the size eights whereas right. if you've purchased interchangeable sets you 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 know you don't have that you have all the different sets and then all the different cords that can go to all of them um right. so yes i get it it's very expensive but it's definitely one of those things if you're like hey i really enjoy my knitting i really like having all the different size needles with me um mm -hmm. maybe it's something that you end up saving money up over over a time to be able to purchase some and hopefully the review or the talk about the different types that are available to you here will help you make an educated decision on which ones are best for you so i can completely understand the the cost of i mean it's it's a lot of i get it guys it's a lot of money knitting this entire craft is a lot of money whether you're buying super saver and susan bates and that's where your budget is or if you're buying signature and hand dyed yarn like we're all at different levels but it's still a lot of money to all of us right so i i completely understand but when it comes to purchasing interchangeables it actually becomes more cost effective to purchase those than the fixed right. the only exception to that is well i guess that wouldn't even be an exception but the signature needles you're still you like it's still costly because you have to buy all the cords right. but i only have to buy one set of actual needle but um, yeah and you can't buy those in any other set type of thing like you can't buy the whole gambit mm -hmm. and the thing too that yes it's expensive <clears throat> but even like i think now these i think i bought like maybe five years ago and i think they were like 50 dollars. so i don't know if they're more expensive now or not but this is a great way just to get started and i love this because <clears throat> Like we said about doing your swatches, 
So when I work on projects for Marley, I am typically one needle size larger than what Marley does her swatches on, um, just because I guess I'm a tighter knitter. And although like we figured that out and I can start right from there to start my swatching, it's not always true. And when I work on other projects, sometimes I need a different size than what the pattern calls for. So rather than buying five needles for every project, I'm already here. I don't have to wait if I pull out a size you know, nine, and then I really need to go down to an eight to try another gauge swatch. I don't have to wait till the next time I can go to the store. I've got it right here in my interchangeable set. And then like Marley said, you know, you save up um, to get the set that you really, really want um, down the road. Yeah. <clears throat> That's very cool. Um, some people, it's it's funny how, you know, the way we all knit sometimes will interfere with the way the needles actually react for us. So, for mm -hmm. example, KB Fibers podcast is saying that the Addies have always come apart on her. I've never had an Addie come apart mm -hmm. on me ever. Um, like, I've never had it come apart. And then others are mentioning that the Chai Goos have never come apart on them. I've never had them come apart on me either. Like, I tightened the crap out of that thing. <laughs> and I, I'm like, you're not falling out. So I've never had that break. Um, I've never used the interchangeables for Indian Lake because as I said, they're always sold out. So I go to buy them. Um, they are not cheap, but they're, I mean, they're handmade. They're, what are you going to, I mean, we all appreciate handmade. I mean, that's what we do, right? So um, I haven't tried them, so I don't know. I've never had the signatures come apart on me once I get them all screwed on. I've never had any issue. As I said, many years ago, probably, see, I, I stopped working at the yarn shop. It's been six years now, five or six years. So probably seven or eight years ago is when I was using the Knit Picks. Yeah, it was knit, not Knitter's Pride. It was Knit Picks. It was Knit Picks. Oh. And they came apart on me. It was not Knitter's Pride. It was Knit Picks. Um, and then I, I gave that set away because I just had come apart on me so many different times. But again, the nitpicks ones might have improved since then. I don't I don't mm -hmm. know. Um, that's just was my experience at the time, you know, and very rarely do you go back to give something another try once you have had a bad experience with it. I mean, right. who knows? And um, it depends to where it sat in your hand that potentially yes. that could have been causing right. wear or whatever else as well. Right. Yeah. Who knows? I have no idea. But for the mm -hmm. most part, I mean companies aren't putting out products for them to just break and have you be disgruntled, right? You don't want to be angry about them. So right. they, they want to do the right thing by you. And I've had, I've had great luck with all of these, <coughs> these needles I've shown you on my end for sure. Um, I do love, if you've seen my videos more often than not, I'm using the gray needles and these are their red heart, um, Susan Bates needles. Um, as you get to the larger sizes, they are plastic, but these ones, they're metal. Um, I don't know. I think these, I think they're taking these off the market, the gray ones. Um, but we'll have to, I'll have to check on that. I'm not sure. I think I, somebody sent me an email on that somewhere. Not like somebody from the company, like, like a fan. And they were asking me and I'm like, I don't know. I hadn't heard of that. <laughs> I don't know. So I don't know. Um, but I like these. These are nice. When it comes to straight needles, like I like these because mm -hmm. I don't use straight needles very often. It's just not my, not my gig. I like, yeah. I like the circulars. I like the way they, they're in my hands. All right. Mm -hmm. So Chris says I have fixed circulars and I only work on circulars or DPNs. I don't even own any straights. So there's another one. Yep. Let's see here. Barbara says I learned on straights, but forced myself to go to circulars because they're so versatile. Good. Mm -hmm. Um, Brenda says I need to try double points. Ah, I love <laughs> double points. Go take the knit along that we did last year for the socks. Yes, that is a great way to do it. Let's see, uh, more fans of the Chai Goo needles, the Flexi Flips while traveling. Um, Sandra says she uses the Flexi Flips while traveling, oh. working on socks. They're easier to wrangle um, than the double points when they hit a bump or potholes. Uh, oh. Let's see here, more love for Chai Goos. The cords are amazing. I love the case. I love that you can buy extras. I mean, there's just a lot of a lot of good um, information here. People who are giving love for the shorties. Oh, mm -hmm. Haya Haya. Um, people are mentioning Haya Haya. I haven't used Haya Haya in years. Yeah, I um, didn't use a set of those. Gosh, I remember I liked them though. Like, I don't know what I, I think my daughter took my Haya Hayas. 
if I remember <laughs> correctly, because I got them and she liked the way they felt. And so she used them. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot about the Haya Hayas. That would be another one for us to try because the Haya Hayas are good too. And they're, they're very comfortable. Um, yeah, I remember Haya Hayas. Let's see here. Um, more people who are loving the shorties. That's, that's amazing to me because they're so tiny. <laughs> see here do the chai goos click in or screw in patty they screw in you screw them in and then you have a, have like a, a special t it's like a t-pin that you, yeah. you tighten it up with it's right I'll here it's the t-pin right this part. no 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 that's the stopper oh that's you're right part. i'm it's sorry the t -pin. Yep. so you use the t-pin let me see right here yeah so Sorry, i thought we were talking about the stoppers no you're good you're right here so i can un so i put the t-pin in and now i can unscrew it but i can <laughs> screw it back on and then give it a good pull like this or a good tug i don't know what like a twist and it's nice and and tight no problem whatsoever so yeah they screw in i've never had any issues with them ever and i don't keep my t-pin in the the wrapper anymore i take it and you put guys probably saw it earlier like I tuck it into the actual fabric of my holder. Oh, that so works. Right They're easy to get to. <laughs> I was like, I'm tired of opening this thing up all the time. Yep. So I love that. People want to try the signatures, um, the, the likes that they're sharp. Um, and yeah, people are saying they're having a lot of fun. And square needles. Yes, there are square needles and hexagon needles. Yeah, I Lots really like the um, square crochet hooks that we were using. So I'm excited to keep working with the square knitting needles. I mean, I do find that it's, I don't want to say a learning curve, but it is different in your hands to hold that as opposed to the traditional round circular needle that, you know, you've basically been using forever. Mm -hmm. I agree. So very cool. I think we're right up to the end of the, yeah, that's the end of the questions. Okay. Hopefully we've answered some of the questions for you guys that are wondering about some of the, the kits out there. Um, we could probably go more in depth with some of this. So leave a comment on the show notes. We'll put the show notes link up in the video description box below. Um, mm -hmm. We'll also link to all of the different items we spoke about today so that way you could check them all out. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully this was helpful. I mean, let us know. Let me know what, what you think. I would love to know. Um, maybe what's your favorite? Uh, do you do you have some that you've always wanted to try? Did we show you some that you've never seen before? Um, all that good stuff. How about you, Caitlin? Was there anything that was a surprise for you? Um, I think the biggest surprise, so to speak, was definitely the square needles and the way that they connect to each other. It's just so unique and different. Um, and I think you know, my still go-to is a metal needle or a wood needle for me personally. That's just what I feel the most comfortable with. Um, the plastic needles though do serve a purpose, especially if you're traveling, like you don't have to worry as much about a metal needle being picked up in like the metal detectors or anything like that. Um, the plastic needles definitely have more, usually have more of a blunt tip to them. Again, if you're traveling and it is going to hold your stitches probably a little bit more, um, there's more drag to it. So again, traveling, you don't have to worry about neat stitches sliding. Okay. Um, so here's but, a question. One, one woman is asking, um, if money were not an issue, what would you recommend? Which would you buy? I have my answer. Um, you think I'll tell mine. Okay. If money were not an issue. I would buy the Chaigu set for my travel set, and I would buy a full set of the signature interchangeables for my stay at home set. If money were not an issue, that's that's where I am. And and know that I also own many different Addy Lace sets because I love those as well. But if you're talking like you haven't done anything before, you've never bought anything, I really love the Chaigu and I love my signatures. So that's that's where I am. Yeah, I think I would probably have to say that I would pick the Addies as my metal um, version. And I'm really loving these Gingers by Knitter's Pride. They're just they look great. They're so nice to work with. They're so warm. They slide very nicely. They're not super grippy like a, a wood can sometimes be. So those are my top two picks. All right. So then we have another question. Somebody said, what would be your number one recommendation for the beginner? 
I know you've, you've kind of said it a couple times about the Denise. Yeah. I mean, so you have to look at it two ways. So when I say, when I'm thinking about a beginner, I'm thinking about if you are going to be very budget minded, I love the Denise. I think these are great. Um, not that the, the marbles aren't an amazing set that you could go with these, but I really like the Denise. I think just because it's what I started on, it's something very comfortable to me, but I would also highly suggest going with a wood needle if you're going to be starting out because I feel like it's kind of in the middle between a metal and a plastic. It has a little bit more drag. It usually has a little bit more blunt tip. Um, so it kind of puts you in the middle so that you don't have to have a metal and a plastic and a wood. I kind of think that's that nice middle road to go there. Okay. And for me, like I don't recommend the Denise – at all like it's just not my it's not my thing like if i were absolute beginner moving beyond ones that you can buy at a, at a shop because of course if you're gonna go not a shop at like michael's joanne's because if you're gonna go there of course i'm recommending susan bates right that's that's right. what i'm recommending but if you're moving beyond the big box store and you want to try something else if i'm being completely honest i would check out knit picks i would check out knitter's yeah. pride I think that's I think that's a very first step a lot of people do because um, they're not super expensive. It's a great way for you to try out a bunch of different types of needles, find one yep. that works for you, and then you can go on from there and try out different needles. Um, that's that's my that's that's been my experience of watching other absolute beginners, you know, move that that way as well. They'll always try out nitpicks and knitters pride. Um, and then the other great thing to do is go to some of these events like mm -hmm. like a stitches or a yarn con or a vogue knitting because people are there selling needles and hooks. You can try them out. And right. that's a great opportunity to do that as well. Plus, if you're taking classes, everybody has different needles in classes and everybody will tell you their opinion and you can give them a try in class. So that's right. always a great thing to try out as well. So I think that's if I'm being honest, that's a great place to start because so many people do. Right. Nitpicks and Knitter's, Knitter's Pride, which I don't think they're the same company, but they're I, not. No. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Let's see here. We get so people are asking, is there a question to for the show notes? No. So the, we're doing this differently. This guys, um, this is a whole it's kind of a unique sort of show. We're trying something new. Um, Caitlin likes she usually runs something called Raffle Copter when we do giveaways like the Wednesday reviews and stuff like that. So she wanted to try that out here with the podcast. So what you will do is when you go to the show notes, you'll see a link that you can click and enter your was information. You probably can describe yeah. it better than I can. When you go to the show notes, they're not live yet. They'll go live um, later today. But when you go down to the bottom, it'll say giveaway. It'll have the dates and everything else. And you'll either have to fill in your email address or you can sign in with Facebook. And the reason that we need that is so that we have a way to contact you if you're the winner. And once you fill out that information, um, you will ask, be asked to confirm everything. And then you'll have different options on how to get points to enter. So like one is just signing in and saying you're here. Then you can share on different platforms. You can um, visit our YouTube page. You can visit um, our Facebook page, things like that. And that'll each get you more points. And then at the end of the giveaway, we'll take everybody who has points and it'll randomly select somebody on their end of things. And then we'll be able to contact you with whatever email address you entered. So please make sure it's one that you check so that you know if you're the winner. And it should also go into the blog post then when it's done, when we have the winner selected as well. Yeah. So this is completely different than we usually do the Yarn Thing podcast as far as leaving comments on the show notes. We're just trying it out, guys, um, to see if it works good for us for next year coming up for different giveaways that we do and different mm -hmm. games, especially with New Year's coming up and the big game day knit along, crochet along, make along, um, the tournament of stitches. Like there's a lot of things happening. So we're just trying, going to try it out this time. We'll see if we like it. We, you know, who knows? Might go back to the other. I have no idea, but just work with us. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you enjoy it. Um, again, I want to remind you the show notes, the link to the show notes will be put in the, the video description of this video. Caitlin and I are going to go through and link up all of the products with the actual um, link of where you can purchase them. So give us a little bit of time to do that today. And uh, they will be available. If you want to know exactly when they're available, again, follow us on Facebook. Mm -hmm. We're always posting on the Marley Bird page or the Marley Bird Minions group. It's a lot of fun over there. 
And um, oh my gosh, I got to say this out loud because this is exciting. Sandra Peters says, I got 20 balls of chic sheep linen from Mr. Sheep. So it sounds like for Christmas, she got the best Christmas present ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is she going to make a, la a Larry? I don't know. Sandra, what are you making with that? Are you going to make a Larry blanket? We haven't published a Larry blanket yet, guys. Yes, oh, sir. yeah, that's right. Be on, be on the lookout it. for you. Um, I'm sorry. It just popped up as I was talking. I was like, oh, somebody got chic sheep for Christmas. That's fantastic. Um, total squirrel moment, but that's where we are. <laughs> If you don't know me, that's who I am. Um, but yeah, so there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, last episode of the Yarn Thing podcast of 2018, season 11. Uh, I do want to let you know we are doing some New Year's Eve shenanigans, bunches yep. of giveaways over New Year's Eve over on the Marley Bird Facebook page. Do you want to tell them no, more about it? Oh, gonna be not on, on the, the blog. Facebook, on the blog. See, yeah. I'm already messing up. So you're going to want to sign up for the email for this weekend. Um, we should be having all the information going out in the email that goes out Saturday or Sunday this week, depending on making sure everything is confirmed completely. Um, and then there'll be a blog post about it as well. But we're going to be doing a ton of giveaways counting down to New Year's Eve, just like we did last year. But instead of all designers, we've got some other great products that are going to be included this year as well. So you'll just have to check the blog post to see exactly how to enter. Um, and then we'll be posting winners all throughout the day, every hour. That's so cool. So if you have nothing better to do, <laughs> come hang out with us and get a chance to win some stuff. Um, and then I have started working on, I don't know if this is going to be the final thing. I started working on the game day make along. I don't know if I'm in loving what I'm, what I'm getting so far, but we'll see. So that will be coming up for the Super Bowl mm -hmm. Sunday, which is February 3rd, 2019. Oh my gosh, 2019. Can you believe I know. The first time I've said that out loud. Um, so there's lots of things coming up for all of that. So lots yeah, of fun and then things. Following that, we will have the knit along for the year as well. So tons yeah. of stuff coming out. Be sure to sign up for the email so you never miss anything over in the Facebook group um, the and the Facebook page. Knit alongs in April. Oh, it's in April. So after okay. after game after game day, then it's yep. tournament of stitches. Yeah. Then it's and the knit along. along. I forgot tournament of stitches goes yeah. in between. Yeah. And then we have another special thing that we're doing. Yeah. Guys, I mean, we are planning ahead this year. So hopefully we run smoothly. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. <laughs> That's why I pay Caitlin the big bucks, guys. Because I am not. I am. I. I plan to an extent, but then I always go off course always. So we have an entire plan for the entire year for giveaways, knit alongs, crochet alongs, make alongs, um, group projects, other bloggers coming in to do stuff, new yarn. There's possibility for new yarn, yarn colors. Um, there's just so many things. So if you have not signed up to the Marley bird newsletter, I encourage you to do so only if you're going to open it though, please. Cause I have to pay for that stuff to go out. So if you're just going to trash it, you know, Hey, that's fine. You don't have to care about me. That's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, but we would love it if you'd sign up for the newsletters so that you get all the happenings. We'll give you all the details of fun patterns we find that are out there and, and all of that good stuff. Oh, we should mention Ellen Gormley has decided to, oh, yeah do um she features like free patterns every week on her youtube channel and one of the patterns she's doing this time is the baby it's cold outside hat let me see if i can find it real quick yeah so if you head over to ellen gormley's um youtube page you can check it out there um and see about the hat and then the free pattern is on marley's website she made one she made one out of sangria she sent me a picture Ooh. this morning yeah so this is my baby it's cold outside hat I, I love this hat. I, like, I do like that hat. It fits really well. I don't know. I like it. And then somebody earlier wanted to see the blue hat I made. So it's it's big. See, it's like big and squishy, but I didn't want it to be big slouchy. I'm messing up my hair, but that's all right. Um, so I wanted it to be bigger without being like slouchy along the back. Can you see? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I like it. It's cute. You like it? Mm-hmm. You, are you lying to me? I think it might need a pom-pom. You know, <laughs> a, but then it would be like right here. Yeah, that's true. I was thinking a brim. 
would oh, be cool. Yeah. And I was like, then it would be down here. Like it would, uh, hit, it would hit funny. So I don't know. A pom pom might be good. I mean, I love a good pom pom. So maybe that's maybe that's good. People are saying they like the hat. Good, yay! Ah, <laughs> uh, it's fun. So yeah. All right. So we've talked plenty now. Now my on my hat hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh this is fun thank you guys very much for joining us oh. and sticking around with us and uh make sure you look for those show notes and smash that like button y'all you want to say bye see ya happy 2018 <laughs> yeah finish up here we go Yee, gosh all right bye guys